I recently posted this uh, wonderful video from William David Holmes showing a plan view that was projected at scale onto the surface of a large floor where people could walk through the layout um, and uh, understand the layout uh, from a human scale. And I mentioned that this could also be done in VR and I wanted to use uh, this as an example. Um, this here is a model, uh, really it's just a plan view of the Carl Larsen House in Sweden, which is uh, a place that I have yet to visit in person, but I've always wanted to. He has a wonderful, uh, charming house and studio. And uh, I found this plan uh, on the internet and I brought it into SketchUp to scale. And right now I'm in a program on the uh, MetaQuest headset. Uh, the, the program's called VR Sketch. And it allows me to, to bring in models directly from SketchUp just with a click within an, an extension. And I can uh, jump into this model very much like that video and I can walk around from room to room and get my bearings as to what it might be like to be in the space without even necessarily having walls yet. I just have an idea of how large the space is based upon the scale plan drawing. And um, I've got a placeholder person in right, right here, but uh, VR Sketch does let me also bring in anybody from anywhere in the world who also has a headset so that they can wander around with me and we can have a conversation about something as simple as a plan. Uh, the wonderful Carl Larson House has his studio or workshop room, which uh, is this space right here. And I wanted to get the feeling of what it would be like to be in the house if I was to be in Sweden and got a chance to visit it. So this is the SketchUp plan view. And then I just took this one particular room and I reconstructed it based upon photographs I found on the internet. So here you have the windows that look out on the garden. In that corner over there, you have a fireplace. Uh, right here in this space is a little nook with a, ch a chair. And then over here is a window that actually looks into the drawing room. So I'll take you from this model into the more rendered version of the model, which I uh, created uh, using Enscape. Okay, here I am in that same model. Uh, this time I've extruded the walls up and done some detail. I've grabbed some textures, but this is the same plan view that I was just in, except I've added lots of details from uh, Carl Larson's uh, workshop. Uh, including some of the furniture elements. Um, there's a lot more furniture and stuff that could go in here, but it was definitely giving me the feel of what it might be like to be in Sweden visiting his house. And uh, one of the things I did is there's this large window here that looks out over his garden. And uh, rather than sculpting it all myself, I actually went on a trip through Google Street View and grabbed images, which I wrapped around on the outside of the model beyond uh, the window so that I could actually look out onto the garden as it appears today. Uh, so all the details in here are accurate to scale based upon the plan and some elevations. There's another window in here that looks into a parlor that I have not sculpted yet, uh, but uh, Carl Larson did paint his uh, his uh, salon, so I actually put his drawing behind the window. And it's, it's worth mentioning that all of the information I grabbed, I grabbed off of the internet, and uh, including the tapestries and paintings and, and other elements. Um, there's a lot more work that could be done in this space, but it gives you an idea of how quickly I could go from something as simple as a plan view and bring it into VR to experience what it would be like to be in here with relatively realistic lighting. This is done using Enscape on a PC, uh, using uh, SketchUp. And uh, just to show you uh, the origins, if I go to this door and I peek through it, you can see this is the same model that I was in before. So there's lots of possibilities for uh, you to be able to create uh, spaces very quickly from plan view to extruded walls to texturing those walls and adding lighting effects. Uh, and best of all, that experience could be shared uh, online with other people who could join you inside the model as you're designing it. So thanks for following along.